Hello, hello, um, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Uh, my name is Chinamaram Chibo, and today we're going to be doing a quick tour of my Notion. Now, what is Notion, you ask? What a great question. Um, Notion is this all-in-one workspace kind of thingy that tries to combine like a wiki and a notes app and you know pretty much everything you can imagine uh, into one usable workspace it's highly configurable and you know it's backed by a community that's really into the idea of sharing templates and um, being creative in their setups and so I thought I would do the same uh, come out here and share how I use Notion. This is not a definitive guide except for the fact that it is. This is of course the only and best way to use Notion. Uh, so take notes kids. And I split it up into three different sections. So there's the school stuff, <laughs> personal stuff, and stuff for growth. And this is my homepage. So with everyone's homepages, you're trying to make it look appealing, obviously. That's one thing. Um, so that you don't mind coming back here. Um, but also I try to make it as useful as possible. So have the information that I use on a daily basis, just at arm's length reach at all times. So there's a lot to get through. Um, I try to make it pretty. So there's a pretty picture of my mom and, uh, we have three mysterious audio clips. What could those be? Who knows? I guess we'll never know. I'm kidding. It's, um, it's white noise. Uh, that's like the <laughs> sound. Um, and each of them is 10 hours long, of course, uh, nine hours, 50, sorry, my bad. And they're all slightly different. The reason there are three of them is because it's actually not white noise all the, all the way. This one is 25 minutes of white noise. And then, uh, there's a five minute break of silence. And this one is 50 minutes of white noise and a 10 minute break of silence. And this one is 30 minutes of white noise and a five minute break of silence. And then it alternates, you know, 35, 35, 35, that kind of thing. And it's for this pomodoro technique uh pomodoro just means like tomato in italian so like you set a tomato timer for 25 minutes and then you take a five minute break and this is supposed to prolong the periods that you can work for without getting completely uh exhausted um so i use this a fair bit that's why i keep it on the home page and uh i also look at this a fair bit just to <laughs> count down to the inevitable day where i'll be out of school um, we have the weather and um, this is the current to-do list setup. One more thing about Notion is that since it's so highly configurable, um, there's the not expectation, but I find it such a wonderful platform to currently to constantly experiment and change things out. So if something doesn't work, I will change it. Um, so this is definitely not the final form of my Notion page, but currently I'm using this and this is a to do ist. So it's like to-do list, but without the L, that's the name of the app or the website. It's an embed. So you can embed things like HTML um, or code or pretty much anything directly into Notion. And that's pretty sweet. So this is just a literal website that is embedded right into my homepage. And the reason why I use to-do is because you might be saying, you know, only use Notion for everything. You're probably not saying that, but that's what I initially started doing. But I found that there's some things that Notion doesn't do as well. Um, for instance, when you have to-do list items, you can't make recurring tasks. So if I eat noodles on the same day every week, I can't get a reminder to eat noodles. And what am I going to do uh, without that reminder? So this pretty much fixes that problem first off, the recurring tasks. And it also allows you to access this a lot easier. So um, I actually, this is, actually has a Chrome extension. Let me exit full screen mode and you can see I can see all of the tabs from my Notion here as well. Crazy, crazy. It's not finished yet. There's also, um, it also adds those tasks to my Google Doc. I mean, Google, whatever this is, calendar, Google Calendar. So I can see things from pretty much anywhere, even though they're added right into Notion. Now, this might not seem sick, but this is incredibly sick. Um, I'm telling you this now because it took me so long to figure out. And I'm pretty proud of it. I haven't really seen anyone else with a, the same setup, but there probably is, there always is. Um, speaking of Google Calendar, we have uh, my personal Google Calendar, um, important stuff. This is just the personal stuff, so it does not include the to-do list stuff. Um, that's one downside of this 
this embed, it's from a website called indify.co, which I actually have open. Um, if you want to have several calendars in the same calendar, you need to pay money. And you know how I am about that. <laughs> so this is just my personal calendar. I can see it um, right in Notion. And this is my old to-do setup. So um, before I would have, um, you can have the status and the importance and the actual task I'm doing and when it's due. And this worked pretty well. Um, I'm just experimenting to see if there's something that can work better. Um, but I use this all throughout the school term and this is a pretty, pretty straightforward way to think, do things because, you know, you can get reminders for everything, but it's not like 5,000 rules you got to fill out. Um, with Notion, there's always a balance between spending time to set up and gaining time from the setup. So you don't want to spend all the time making your Notion look as beautiful as physically possible and fail all your assignments because you were busy doing that. So it's a balancing act, of course. Um, I think my Notion is pretty pragmatically based, like it's, it's pretty sick. And I don't think mo most of the stuff here is like superfluous for no, for no reason. Um, so that's the home page. There's a little bit more to get through. Don't worry, stick in. Uh, this is the cool stuff. Um, so first, actually, before we get to the cool stuff, I'll show you my old to do page um, so I could see like a timeline view. So many things about Notion I don't mention. Um, it's a very interesting and intricate app, but you can have different views um, for how you will want to look at things. So if I want to look at all the things I've completed ever, I can have a pretty sweet, <laughs> a pretty sweet table of that stuff. Um, but if I just want the stuff that I still have to do, I can see that too in the table form. Um, you can see things in this like Kanban style form. Nothing's here because I'm done school. I'm actually going back in like a month. Um, but yeah, there's different views. Uh, there's the almighty calendar, which has the stuff I still got to do. All of that, um, all in Notion. The reason I don't use Notion's calendars is simply because when you go to different environments, um, Sadly, not everyone is yet on the Notion train. And if a company I work at uses Google Calendar, I can't suddenly, you know, be rocking a half and half kind of life. I, I want to have the Google Calendar embed in Notion, which is what this tries to do. Um, that's it for that page back home. And next we'll go to the classes page. Now I know this is what you guys are all waiting for. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be worth it. Um, so I'm in uni taking comp and there are a couple classes. There are a couple of them. Now, in order to manage myself and to uh, stay on top of the workload, I find it really important to get slapped um, with reminders. Uh, I'm not the best at remembering things, so having technology to help me with that has been like a lifesaver uh, throughout all of uni. And also, I'll show you the individual class pages soon enough, but having like a list of all the things that I have to do and checking them off one by one is the most sick activity you can engage with because you know first of all you get the feeling of completion and then second of all you can come back and you can look through and be like okay I learned all this stuff I kind of learned all this stuff <laughs> um, and you can you know come back and see oh yeah this quiz specifically I learned about X Y and Z and when you're in classes you'll know what the quiz will be on. So you're not kind of, you know, trying to read 5,000 pages when you only need to read 4,000. So saves you some time there. Um, there's this space reps thing. I talked about experimentation. This is a failed experiment. Um, <laughs> I didn't use this very often. As you can see, most things say non-existent. Um, if I load more, you can see some things I did touch. Actually, okay, some things I did touch. I'm just trying to make myself look better, but this was a failed experiment for sure. Um, but the initial idea was that I would have notes and like take a summary and uh, convert these to Anki flashcards, another service which I tried using but didn't really use. Um, and then get myself to do spaced repetition, which is where you um, space out the repetition of your work. <laughs> Crazy how it, it means what it says. Um, so you start like you do your stuff your school stuff and then you do it maybe like a week after and then like Two weeks after and then like a month after and that space allows the idea to actually Ferment in your mind like a piece of cabbage and stay for a longer period of time Because if you just learn it once it's easy to forget it after some time at least for me 
So this is a technique that I might come back. That's the reason it's not completely wiped off the face of the earth. Um, Cause I do want to try this and do want to see if I can pull this off next semester. Um, back to the classes. Now for each class, I have this pretty sick page. I know I use the word sick, but I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm not joking around where um, during school time, I could see all of the tasks I had to do and mark them done as time went along. And currently, there is nothing that's unfinished, so I'll pat myself on the back for that. Um, this is the failed space wraps, okay, okay, okay. And then this is something that I found was really helpful. Um, so right at the start of school, they give you the syllabus. Now it's a piece of information that is very easy to throw in the garbage. I suggest that you resist that temptation. <laughs> okay, it's all online, so you can't technically throw it away, but getting it all onto one place was such a time saver because with school they give you like 101,000 sites that you can use right um, and having all of those sites condensed into one notion saves you the time of you know scrambling around for zoom links when there's two minutes before the meeting starts you know what I mean so the zoom link is right here the help sessions very important are right here and I can see the the syllabus and know what I have to do like right here and everything's in notion because it's an all-in-one uh, workspace or whatever they call it um, yeah this was pretty great uh, checking things off as I went knowing what would be on the test when it came up and so that's why I want to share this with other people because um, if anyone can benefit from that that would be sick um, and also if you guys have any notion templates feel free to share them uh, you know the more people that can help each other the better it will be and uh, we have the same for pretty much every class some more uh, less than ideal situations but you can see that it's something that you can actually use and that's something i want to reiterate it's the point of actual usage so if there's something on notion that you don't find that you use as much or you don't actually need i don't really see the point of getting it just because it looks sick right so only implement these strategies if they actually work for you but i do suggest that you try them because they actually work for me if not i wouldn't be sharing them except for space reps. Um, and then we go to the habit tracker. This is something I did mostly over the summer. Um, but you or I um, was able to more visually see all of my shortcomings and failures. Um, so see all the places in, in my uh, work day or my monthly schedule that I need to keep picking up on. Um, and the thing about failure is that if you don't visualize it you can't really or if you don't like show it to yourself you can't really learn from it you know like you need to slap yourself in the face a couple times to know that it's actually something you need to improve or at least i do so seeing this for instance motivated me to put in some more work onto that um specific endeavor i'm not going to specify what it is and whatnot but yeah it was helpful to visually see um literally my shortcomings or my successes and um kind of have a grade for myself uh, whether passing or failing for the end of the month and then you go back to the the other stuff on the page there's a journal this is like an audio journal kind of thing um, so workout stuff shared by a friend I won't get too into these but they're probably shared and um, if I go back to the home page we have more stuff to take a look at so next up is <laughs> next up is media media is sick uh -huh. We all love media, don't we? Consuming media, my fellow youths. Um, so I have different media and mediums. I don't even know the the proper term that, you know, people suggest you stuff like, Jim, have you looked at this book? It's sick. And I'm like, okay, I'll check that out. But sometimes you don't actually check it out, even if you initially intend to. So I've started writing it down here. And this also gives me an avenue to think more deeply about the things that I watch. Um, give it a score and to actually reflect like okay was that good was that whack um, and I don't want to show them but I, I write like short synopses of basically these things so that I have you know my thoughts of something I actually try to formulate opinions about simple stuff like this um, just to keep my brain active like an 80 year old man yeah so this has been pretty sick and helpful um, what else what else what else recipes one of my favorite pages um, a friend actually gave this to me 
because they saw how much I was suffering. Um, <laughs> because I had a recipes page before, but it pretty much had nothing on it. Um, so this is why Notion is so sick, because you can just share things with one another and everyone benefits. It's pretty great. Um, so there are all of these different recipes that have ingredients and instructions and notes. And I'm going to be living on my own pretty soon. So, you know, going to be eating well, uh, home cooked, healthy food. And then we have quotes. So I'm not much of a quote guy, but I do have a couple. And so I'll leave you um, on this page if you want to have a look. Let me read um, one of them. <laughs> An office. On a desk, a stack of resumes from hopeful applicants. The employer sitting behind said desk starts his work on screening potential interview candidates by picking up half the stack and tossing it into the recycling bin. I don't hire unlucky people, it states, before looking over the first survivor. <laughs> so those kind of things help me, but blah, blah, blah. Yeah, quotes, quotes, quotes. Um, this is a helpful page to come back to sometimes. Some of these things actually resonated with me. That's why I wrote them down. So if you want to pause, go ahead. That's it for today. You know, there are a couple pages I didn't get to. So if you guys would be interested in seeing those, let me know. Um, but this is my sick notion setup. If you want any of the stuff here, it's probably in a template down below. Give me some time with that. It might not be up immediately, but I'll get to it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and peace, peace.